So I sent my Magic the Gathering buyer to Galveston today. The event is actually happening as of the recording of the video. One of the things I wanted to get was the hot list. So Magic events and conventions are going on right now. There is one currently. It's kind of like a Magic tournament, but there are vendors there. There is a very interesting buy list. So it's not this one. This one is kind of a feeler, if you will. So you see, I like Stoneforge Mystic at $50. That seems like really high. This is a lot of modern cards. Chrome Mox, Black Cleave Cliffs, still doing very well. Um, you also see some cards that have not done well. So this is the hot list. And in terms of hot lists, it is going to be the most... It's going to be, honestly, just a list of cards the vendor knows they can move. So 95 is at this event right now. And the one thing I want to point out was Underground Sea is at $750. For everyone saying, oh, the reserve list, the dual lands. This is significant because $750, the best buy list I can find right now is Card Kingdom at 500 this company is paying 50% above the best online buy list for just this one card. Now, of course, you also have Tropical, you also have Bayou, and Badlands is not bad. So we have four out of the six dual lands on the you know cast buy list, the hot list, if you will. And these will change from event to event. So assuming that I send my buyer to the next event, he'll also report back what the buy list is. And he knows my inventory really well. The other thing to know is the Fetchlands have an Entamagoyf. You can see this $200 buy list Tamagoyf is now $22. So Tamagoyf is not seeing very much play modern or in any format. And he's finally been reprinted to the point, the breaking point. That's interesting, right? Tamagoyf had $22 buy list. Who would have thought this? I think the last GP Houston I went to, he was at 120 buy list, and people felt that was a steal of a deal. No one wanted to sell Tamagoyce. But you can see that the Fetchlands, they are all on this list, and they tend to be even the Flooded Strand, which didn't get the re I mean, they all get reprinted in secret layers, and I, I mean, uh, it's kind of hard to say it's not been reprinted because it has, but it hasn't been re reprinted kind of in a mass reprinting, I guess. I guess that's how I'll put it. It hasn't been mass reprinted. You can see it's all modern. I think this event, I'm being told, is a modern event. So it does make sense that many of these cards, like... But, I mean, you see some standard cards. Obviously, you have the Skyclave Apparition, one of my favorite cards. Maybe somebody's trying... Maybe it's a modern card. Thought Not Seer at $4. That's pretty good. In my opinion, Ignoble Hierarch is $7. And what a drop. I mean, I know that's the reverse. That's the not noble Hierarch. Nonetheless, I mean, it kind of does the same thing. Teffy, Herald of Dominaria, Spell Speaker, Croax, the Titan of Death, Ugin, the Spare Dragon, pretty solid at 20. Liliana, the Last Hope. So, Liliana, the Last Hope, I thought would be worth a ton more. Definitely a card that at $17, it seems kind of low. Blood Crip, you, you have some of the Shocklands too. So, okay, let's take a, another look at the last list of today. Uh, Ink Mock Nexus, Nexus at $30. All Fetch Lands, all Dual Lands, all Shocklands, all Triumphs, all Modern Horizon Land. Again, it's land. Like, if you don't know what to put on your hot list, you might as well put you know, I mean, this is kind of a catch-all. Hey, I'll buy any Fetch land, I'll buy any Dual land, I'll buy any Shock land, I'll buy any Triumph, I'll buy any MH1 Horizon land. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember those land. Um, pretty interesting. They're also buying Pokemon at this vendor. Uh, I've sent the salesperson to go out and investigate the Pokemon market. I do think this event is a Magic the Gathering event. It seems like there are many more magic sellers and buyers and traders and people playing. 
maybe I'll upload a longer video about it. It's kind of like, you know, whenever like you tell a non-YouTuber to shoot YouTube videos, they're always going to shoot horizontally. Oh no, they're always going to shoot vertically. So, yeah, that's interesting. But here you can see some of the new Pokemon, Marnie at a two, Marnie, I think that's the box at $35. The Nene, uh, Pierce Steel Paladin. Wow, that card's gone down a ton. I thought that was like a $20 buy list card at one time. Blood Moon has gone down to Oblivion. A lot of these cards, I mean, you look at Teffy Time Traveler, I assume. A, a lot of these cards are very, very inexpensive. So, I don't know. Thought it would be kind of fun.